Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, has ended with a call for an immediate resignation of all the lawmakers occupying the disputed 31 seats in the Malian parliament to pave way for by-elections. The ECOWAS leaders also insist on the conduct of inquiry into the violent political unrest in Mali as well as intensification of effort towards the release of the abducted opposition leader, Somaila Sisa. Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Zubairu Dada, announced these while briefing newsmen on the resolutions adopted by the summit. State as correspondent Adam Sambo again reports. The opposition was making a demand for the resignation of the president. And the court's position is no head of state shall be removed other than through constitutional means. The extraordinary summit of the ECOWAS leaders in a 12-point resolution, however, agreed that a government of national unity be rapidly established to implement all reforms and recommendations issued from the inclusive dialogue towards improving governance. There were lots of crises arising from the elections, which has led to a lot of debts. The meeting resolved that a commission of inquiry be set to look into the circumstances surrounding uh, this loss of lives and the loss of property with a view to establishing those that are culpable and punishing them. Uh, in addition, the government of Mali has been encouraged uh, to establish a support fund for those that must, may have been injured and even for those who may have also lost their lives in the process of uh, those uh, uh, demonstrations. The meeting also resolved that a constitutional court be reconstituted in line with the legal provisions in Mali, while an all-inclusive monitoring committee be put in place for the implementation of all the measures adopted by the ECOWAS leaders. It is believed that uh, that will go a long way in bringing peace to that country and, of course, generating a lot more confidence in uh, the opposition to participate in salvaging what remains of their country. It is in everybody's interest that these matters are addressed and addressed squarely and immediately. A 10-day ultimatum has been given by the ECOWAS leaders to implement all the decisions and measures agreed upon and directed the ECOWAS Commission to consider sanctions against all those found acting contrary to the normalization of the situation in Mali. The socio-political challenges in Mali is taking place at a critical moment in the history of the country characterized by recurring terrorist attacks, intercommunal tensions, social unrest marked by school teacher strikes, as well as the health crisis caused by COVID-19 and its consequences on the economy. From the State House, Adamu Sambu, NTN.